Hello viewers, welcome to Regina Aura. For this demo section, we will be performing an upgrade from Oracle 11 Jubilee 2 to Oracle Database 12C. Before we commence our demo, there are certain prerequisites that I have done prior to this demo. You can go over to my blog to see how that was done. Okay, um, so there are, there are several methods, yeah, the several methods that can be used to perform an upgrade. Okay, um, but for this demo, we're going to be using the database upgrade assistant, which is uh, a GUI tool, and it's quite easy because step by step instruction, um, and also it has its own advantages. Uh, I highlighted that also in my blog. I'm just going to just say one of them. One of it is that it, it helps us to um, do our pre upgrade steps, okay, uh, steps that uh, we would have done manually. It helps us to automate the step. Having said that, Oracle recommends that we do our pre upgrade steps manually. Reason because um, it will help to analyze the database and also prepare the database for upgrade. And um, another thing is that it helps us to fix issues, something that would have altered our upgrade process. It helps us to fix it before the upgrade. So there are several more best practices that we should do before upgrade. As we go over our demo, we'll see them and um, I will be sure to highlight them to you. So before we start, I'm going to show you my environment so you can um, get familiar with what I have. So I'm just going to... Okay, so you can see the release of the 11G database that I have. Um, that's um, release 2 version 3. So I'm going to do the same. I'm going to open the tab there. And then the name of the 12 database that I have is um, RCL. And I'm going to... Okay, um, so you can see um, also the release of the 12C database that I have. The next thing we're going to do is to run our pre-upgrade scripts and then we'll take actions together before we now start our DBUA. To do that, I'm going to navigate to where we have, um, okay, we have that already. And then I'm going to get to the location where we have the scripts, okay. And then I'm going to copy the pre-upgrade scripts um, to a common location where our 11G database can um, assess it. Okay. So I will navigate back to where we have our 11G and then run the script from there. Okay. So I'm just going to copy this. Um, I'm going to run the script here. Okay, so we have to wait for that. Okay, while waiting, I'm going to change this to 11G so that um, we know which terminal is for which for demo. So that's more like it. So we have to wait for the pre upgrade um, script to load and um, We'll check okay now the pre upgrade script is downloading so we have several action you can see user action required you can see that here okay so let's see what we have up there so results um, of our pre upgrade checks is located here so for us to know what to do we're going to cut the content of this file and then see the actions we are meant to take before we start our upgrade okay so i'm going to copy this and I'm going to open the free terminal. I think there's a free terminal. Okay, so we're going to cut that content and see. Okay, so this is how the result we have. We have several things to do. So we're going to start. I'm going to take that up so you can see the things we're meant to do. Okay, first uh, thing we have there is the, um, you can see the first steps um, telling us the name of the database and um, that we're using the version and we're using a compatible version that's very very important you can also see the platform and then the time zone file also okay so you can see all the competent lists um, that are valid for upgrade and um, the table spaces also are 
adequate for upgrade so let's see where we need to make some adjustment now we have a one in here see the process count may be too low okay so um what we have at the moment um, we have a 150 which is lower so we have to make our process count 300 so i'm just going to copy this okay just to make our work easier and then go over to our database and run that okay on our script so we have another one in saying that enterprise manager database country repository was found okay so what it needs us to do if the um, emctl that's if our em is on you have to stop it and then we have to run the script to take off the em database control so um, first thing first we have to get the script right then uh, Copy the script again to that location so we can run it easily. Okay. Okay, so we have the script there. And then we're going to move to our 11G database and run the script to take off our AM. We are good to go. We can now run our script. Okay. Okay, so we have that. Okay. okay, so the script is running. We have to wait for that script to be done. While we're waiting for our AM control to be taken off, um, I told you I was going to highlight to you best practices of what you should do before you start your upgrade. So it's important to gather DBMS stats, um, um, dictionary statistics. Now, if you don't gather it, like I said, um, the DBUA is going to help you do that. So, but it's important you do it okay to um, be sure and also it's um it's also going to reduce the time you're going to spend to do your upgrade that's about what we have oem schemas and object has been dropped and then start up our dbua okay okay that's okay so we have that dbua okay so our database upgrade assistant um, is up so we have several steps to follow so this path is the uh, pathway we need to set an operation and the operation we want to do right now is to upgrade our Oracle database and then um, so I'll click on next okay so um, this next path is to select the database that needs to be upgraded now um, from the list I have here, um, that's um, our source Oracle Home release, you can see that I just have one option. So it depends on what you have on your server. So if you have more than one database, if you have releases, so it, it means that you would have to select the one you want to upgrade. Okay, so this is selected because this is what I have. And then you can also see the target um, Oracle Home release. Okay, and um, okay, that's that. So we click on next to do a pericocide check. Now for the uh, prerequisite check, you can see the validations and then you can see the severity and um, if it's fixable. Okay, so if it's fixable, we just click on it and um, apply action and allow that to be fixed. Okay, so you can also look at the below here to check um, more information about any severity that you have. Click on next. Okay, this path is our upgrade option, and then um, this section um, talks about the um, upgrade um, parallelism. Okay, so the um, upgrade parallelism um, basically helps um, um, to fasten or should I say to speed up our upgrade process because this path works with your CPU calls like how many CPUs do you have? to execute this whole um, upgrade process so it depends on what you have okay and um, you can also see the upgrade options and you can see upgrade time zone data and the kind of statistics before upgrade remember that we looked at this path in the result of our pre-upgrade script okay because this is demo so um, I, I want to be checking any of this okay because I want it to be fast you know and then you can see the file locations for Diagonistics and the audit file destination. So I'm just going to click on next. 
Okay, this pass is to specify um, management options. Uh, if you want to configure Enterprise Manager EM, Database Express, you've installed already Cloud Control and you want to register this database with Cloud Control, you can just check this and then well, I'm putting all the necessary information here. Okay, so I'm just going to uncheck this because I want it to be quite fast for me. And then I'm going to click on next. Okay, this part is to verify if you also want to move your database um, files as um, part of your upgrade. If you want to move also your FRA area, that's this. You just need to check this and specify the location where you would want to move them to. Okay, so I'm just going to leave that file and then click your next. Okay, this part is um, your listener selection. Okay, and um, this is the listener that you want to work with. Okay, so I'm just going to leave it at the default listener, which is um, 1521. And um, I'm going to click on next. Okay, this part is select an option to recover database in case of upgrade problem. Okay, another best practice that should be done before upgrade is that you need to back up your database that needs to be upgraded. Okay, so before now, I had already backed up my database. But nevertheless, okay, um, DBUA also can help you to create an urban backup. But you know that that's time consuming, right? So I'm just going to check this part that um, I have my own backup store strategy. Okay, so um, this is the summary part. So you can go over the summary for both your source database and the target database. Okay, and you can also scroll down to see all of the components there. Um, if you're okay with this summary, then you can go ahead and finish as I'll be doing that right now. But if you're not okay with the summary, you can still go back and make some um, adjustments, okay? So I'll just finish and then... And so we've come to the end of this demo. Um, I hope this was quite informative for you. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get um, updates on newer uploads. Thank you for viewing.